The Crown's Emma Caron, who identifies as non-binary and uses they slash them pronouns, insists that the Oscars and other award shows should be more inclusive by not dividing up honors into male and female categories. However, songstress Adele has previously defended the traditional gender categories, telling the world she's proud to be a woman. 26-year-old Emma, who has previously won a Golden Globe and netted an Emmy nomination for their portrayal of Princess Diana, spoke of longing for a future where all genders are catered to in one single neutral category. I hope for a future in which that happens, the Princess Diana star exclaimed, claiming they want everyone to feel represented and acknowledged. At the time of winning the Golden Globe, Emma was still using she slash her pronouns, but has since confirmed a non-binary identity. Meanwhile, Emma will be the star of two forthcoming films this year, My Policeman and Lady Chatterley's Lover. It's difficult for me at the moment trying to justify in my head being non-binary and being nominated in female categories, Emma stated, despite also insisting that being non-binary is not a rejection of femininity. When it comes to categories, do we need to make it specific as to whether you're being nominated for a female role or a male role? You can discuss awards and the representation there. But really the conversation needs to be about having more representation in the material itself, in the content that we are seeing for non-binary people, for queer people, for trans people, Emma, who has been pictured wearing a chest binder, added to BBC News. When those parts come up, meaning more people and more actors are playing those roles then I think there will be more of an urgency with which these questions will be addressed. The major awards shows are already said to be debating the issue. While the Grammys took the plunge and went gender neutral back in 2012, the Brit Awards followed on from their USA counterparts and did the same earlier this year. Adele was awarded the title Artist of the Year, but seemed uncertain about the concept of gender neutral categories. I understand why the name of this award has changed, but I really love being a woman and being a female artist," she declared during her acceptance speech. Speaking of womanhood and everyone in the female category, she continued, I'm really proud of us. A spokesperson for the BAFTAs has since announced that the organization is engaged in proactive and thoughtful consultation on this subject. The Oscars are believed to be considering following in the footsteps of the Brits and Grammys too. Yet some argue that, to cater for the needs of a minority, majority groups could suffer significantly. For instance, the current format ensures that both males and females in each category are guaranteed to win every year. Yet gender-neutral categories could result in an imbalance where only one gender ends up being showcased in any given area. Meanwhile, there will be less chances to win, as the number of acting awards would be halved by having a single neutral category. The number of known non-binary people in the UK, according to sources including the census, is estimated at just zero. 4%. Yet major organizations seem to now be taking inclusivity seriously, while Emma insists they are gender fluid, claiming, I would never sacrifice integrity or honesty because of work that I may or may not get. But, I still want to play women, 